are down to four. In the West, we've got Steph Curry and the Warriors as they continue their journey in defending their title as they take on the Thunder. And then in the East, LeBron James is seeking his sixth consecutive NBA Finals appearance. But first, the Cavs must take care of the Raptors. Now, according to Vegas odds makers, this is no surprise here, the Warriors are the favorites to repeat as champs. LeBron and company, they're right behind them. So, Shannon, let's go to you first. Last block, you said Golden State in six over OKC. So, spinning it all the way forward, who do you think is going to walk away with this year's NBA title? You're going to pound on this one? You, you need to yeah. pound harder. The king. <laughs> Believe, Lane. Who's, who's the king? Staff? You know who oh. the king is. This is the most talented team he's been a part of. Yes, he won two. LeBron times. James is going to win the title. Absolutely. 1,000%. He won two titles in Miami. D. Wade and Bosch, we know what he had. Ray Allen hit some great shots. He's never had a team this deep. They go 9, 10 deep. We know what their starters are. And then they come with Channing Fry, Richard Jefferson, Iman Shumpert, Matthew Della Vadova. They can also get you 12, 15 minutes with Mo Williams. They're deep. What I love most about this, this basketball team, Skip, is that LeBron James doesn't have to carry the bucket of load of scoring, the bucket of the load of rebounding, He's going to lead the insist because he, that's what he does. But they've managed his minutes. Skip, it's, it's a done deal. Book it. Book, book it, it. done deal. <laughs> Cavs in four in the finals. I'm already, I got to look at the schedule and see when the final game is. I'm booking my trip to Cleveland. I'm going to the parade. You're going to the I'm parade? I'm going to the parade. Wow, I, Shannon. I, I did not know this about you. I'm going to the parade. When did you become such a big <laughs> LeBron lover? I've always been. I follow LeBron. I'm following, he go to Miami, I went to Miami. He went back to Cleveland, I'm back in Cleveland. If he leaves and goes sixes, well, maybe not that far. But if he goes to another team, I'm riding with him. I'm riding shotgun with LeBron James. Really? And guess what? You and I are gonna have on fire, we're gonna drive a fire truck, cause we're gonna be leading the parade. We're gonna be leading the parade. Uh, uh, yeah. Down Main Street, Cleveland, yeah, Ohio. Yes. Mm. I think you're gonna be by yourself in the fire <laughs> truck because nobody's it's just Cavs be you. Island. Yeah. Believe land. Believe did you land. see? Did you see the doc documentary? Yeah, I did. I saw okay, it. it's gonna happen, Skip. It's not only is it not going to happen, Golden State will win easily in the finals. Also, Golden State is on a mission to get revenge on not just LeBron, but. On, on everybody who tainted their run to the championship last year, including me. I made the mistake right after the finals, on, on the day after, I tweeted that, that their run to the finals, run to the championship, <laughs> deserved an asterisk because they kept lucking into playing teams whose point guard was injured. All the way up to the finals, obviously, Kyrie, overtime, injury, loss for the rest of the finals. Obviously, Kevin Love was gone right. early in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. so. Steph responded me to me quickly on Twitter, you know, and told me that I better be careful about what what noise I'm talking because I'm paraphrasing what he said because they will prove to everyone next year, which is now, yeah. that it was no fluke what they pulled off against an injured Cavs team. So I think they are driven. I think they are obsessed with the notion of showing everyone they can beat the Cavs at full strength. And I do not believe that LeBron, even with his best supporting cast, his deepest supporting cast, can beat this team. So while LeBron has had the easiest run to the finals I've ever seen a superstar have, because, by the way, you know, Detroit, you know, no, you know, and then mm -hmm. this last series. Detroit, Atlanta, Detroit played them tough in the regular know, season now. I know, but it, it wasn't much, and they didn't have to really break a sweat. And, and then... Finally, here comes Toronto without its big man. Valanchunas is, I, I, I don't know, he's iffy at best. He's got a bad ankle, so he missed the rest of this, this past series against Miami. Yes. And if they don't have Valanchunas, it's not a fair fight anymore. So I, I do not fair. see. Why do you keep saying fair? You know what a fair is? It just doesn't matter. A up. fair is where you go buy candy apples, okay. cotton candy, it's and ride like the Stephen Ferris a, wheel. Except that, that's what you do at the fair. It's, it, wait, Stephen A's line is it's a place where you judge pigs, except that's not his <laughs> line. It's actually Jeff and Long Beach's line that Stephen A uses. Hi, Jeff. How are you? But this is what I want because I believe the Cavaliers win this series against the, Ra the Raptors in five, in five games, four Okay, I, I got it in four. And... I'm I, this is the matchup I want to see on the court. I want to see Channing Fry at f uh, five. I want to see uh, Kevin Love at four, LeBron at the three, Jay Smith at two, mm -hmm. Kyrie against any lineup they throw out there. Okay. Well, we'll see that.
and LeBron has played big and played well. And just like and just like uh, uh, Golden State stumbled into that lineup with a uh, with Iguodala when they was behind by so much and they almost came back and got him, they stumbled on this lineup against Atlanta in Game Three. They stumbled upon it. Tyron Lue found something. He can go to this big lineup because he has a guy that can, a stretch five, mm -hmm. which you you don't see very many stretch fives, but he's a stretch five that can get, has three-point hey, range. I hear all I that. I like this. I hear all that. We're having a parade okay. in but Cleveland. Have you been listening Are and watching? Are you coming to the parade? No, I'm not okay. because there won't be one. But ha have you been listening and watching what LeBron has been doing to rattle the cage of the Golden State Warriors <laughs> and Steph Curry? He's been discounting the validity of Steph's unanimous MVP because there are different Different ways he says to define what no, an MVP it, is, more valuable to your team, the, or just the best player. The voters use different arguments yes. when they want to give someone a vote. Okay. The guy used the argument where look where they would be if they didn't have Carmelo Anthony, or look where they would be if they didn't have have have, have, have Allen Iverson. Mm -hmm. So now all of a sudden, it's hard. It's hard. The guy went. They won 73 games. He hit 400 and over 400 threes. He scored 30, played less than 35 minutes. It's hard to make the argument. But the one thing I am concrete on him, Steve Kerr didn't deserve to be coach of the year. Okay. They won and 30 LeBron they, also made a case they, that, they went, that Terry Stott should they, have been coach. They won 39 games without you. Mm -hmm. So if, are you really that good of a coach or the team really that good? Because they won more games without you than they did when they had you. Okay, keep talking. So You, you know what you're doing? You are inflating the chip on Steph Curry's shoulder with every word that you speak. And you know here. what? Every time you say LeBron James has lost four finals and no great player has ever lost four finals, he has a chip too. And Uncle Drew, Kyrie coming back, Kevin Love, 18 and 13 rebounds, mm -hmm. skip. It's going to happen. And then what are you going to say? What are you going to say what when gonna it happens? What I'm going to say to you right now is I'm glad you brought this up because LeBron James, the king as you call him, king. is two and four in the NBA the Finals. King. And he's going to fall to Three two and, and five. And if he does, that means two and five. That means that five out of seven NBA Finals, LeBron James will have lost. You don't think that will taint his resume? And I must make the case. If Ray Allen doesn't make the greatest clutch shot I have ever seen in my life against my Spurs from the corner to force overtime in game six, you remember yeah. that? If, if Ray Allen, if that lips out, we are having a conversation in which LeBron James is now one and five at this point, looking at one and six at this point. If you keep using if. Okay, well, Ray Allen saved well, his legacy. This? If a dog. Did I, if a dog, Am I right? No. If a dog had a square butt, it would poop blocks. Okay. What about Jerry West? <laughs> Jerry West, oh is, one in, Jerry West yeah. is one and eight I was not prepared in for that finals. One. He had the logo. Mm -hmm. Did it taint his legacy? Nope, but nobody cared. Nobody called him the king. They, and, they, and, and they and, better not and, have and, called and, anybody else the king. And, and here's LeBron what James is the king. You. When you're riding shotgun with most players that you root for, they're, they're tough guys. They're mentally tough guys. I'm, I'm here to tell you, I'm on the record. Steph Curry is mentally tougher than LeBron James. I don't care. Bingo. Guess what? And he's going to be one and one in the finals. Okay, we'll see about that. Bingo. What, what, how can you love a guy like a LeBron James who has come apart so much under pressure, especially in that finals against Dallas? Magic how do you Johnson, explain Magic that? Magic Johnson came apart in he the finals. He didn't come apart. He just lost to Larry Bird. That's all that happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he didn't come apart. In the paper, they called him tragic. Yeah. Do you remember that? I you probably wrote well, the headline. I was there. You probably wrote the there. headline. Yeah, yeah. The king. Yeah, the king. Hey, Cleveland. I'm surprised. Get my you. fire truck ready. Mm -hmm. Have it gassed up. Uh, Why does it have to be a fire truck? Because I want to drive a fire truck. I always wanted to be a it's fireman. Your, it's like a childhood dream, or because yeah, I'm gonna okay. put this. All right. That's somebody got to put this fire. I gotta be honest. Yeah. I didn't listen. I didn't hear anything you said after you said mention a dog with a square butt. <laughs> and then I was told that guess who's trending on Twitter? You. But then after that whole comment, there's no <laughs> no wonder why you're trending on Twitter. What's it trending on Twitter for? I don't know. Busting that's you just, up, that's Skip. Just what I heard. Busting, me up. Busting you up. Oh, okay. We're talking about square butts and all. Okay, <laughs> well, shall we move on and go back to the NFL? Yes. They've had more starting QBs than any other team in the NFL over the last decade, and now it seems RG3 will get his shot with the Browns. But will we see the same RG3 as we saw back in Washington? We will discuss next.